For years, NVIDIA and Intel have dominated the semiconductor industry. NVIDIA's graphics processors have been the backbone of AI training, running everything from chatbots to self-driving cars, while Intel's chips have powered devices from personal computers to massive data centers. But now, a new contender is emerging, and it's shaking up the entire landscape. Enter Cambricon Technologies, a Beijing-based chip designer that's rapidly gaining ground. This isn't just another competitor, it's a game-changer. While NVIDIA and Intel have relied on their established reputations, Cambricon is pushing forward with hyper-specialized AI accelerators that are not only energy-efficient but also outperforming traditional options in critical areas. Founded in 2016 by brothers Chen Yunji and Chen Tianyi, Cambricon has been steadily advancing its technology. Their latest chips, like the MLU290, M5 and MLU372X8, are built on a 7 nanometer process, delivering up to 512 intake tops and 32 GB of HBM3 memory. To put that in perspective, NVIDIA's A100, released in 2023, reached 624 tops with sparsity, meaning Cambricon is closing the gap faster than anyone expected. But raw power isn't the only factor. Cambricon's real advantage lies in efficiency and necessity. With US, export restrictions limiting China's access to NVIDIA's high-end GPUs, domestic companies have been forced to seek alternatives. Cambricon has stepped up, and the numbers prove it. In Q4 2024, they posted their first-ever quarterly profit, between 32 million and 44 million, after years of losses. Revenue surged nearly 70% year-over-year, hitting 63.74 million, and their market cap now sits at 41 billion. Technically, Cambricon's chips use a unique machine learning unit architecture, optimized specifically for AI workloads. Unlike NVIDIA's general-purpose GPUs, Cambricon's accelerators are designed from the ground up for AI, making them more efficient for tasks like deep learning and neural network processing. The MLU 290M5, for example, delivers one 222 GB S of memory bandwidth, comparable to NVIDIA's high-end offerings, but with significantly lower power consumption. What's really driving Cambricon's success, though, is algorithmic traction. Their chips are paired with software that maximizes performance, making them the preferred choice for major Chinese tech firms like Huawei. And with China's AI chip market projected to hit 24 billion this year, Cambricon is positioned to take a massive share. That's not to say NVIDIA and Intel are out of the race. NVIDIA still leads in raw performance and ecosystem integration, with their CUDA software being a developer favorite. Intel, meanwhile, is making strides in AI training and retains strong manufacturing capabilities. But Cambricon is catching OOP experts estimate they're now just two to three years behind NVIDIA, a dramatic improvement from the decade-long gap they faced just a few years ago. Demand is another key factor. China is investing billions in AI infrastructure, with projects like ByteDance's 4.5 billion computing center and Shandong's massive AI push. Without access to NVIDIA's latest chips, Cambricon has become the go-to solution. Their stock surged 383% in 2024, outpacing even NVIDIA and TSMC. Analysts predict China's AI chip market will reach 24 to 28 billion in 2025, and Cambricon is poised to be a major player. So, can Cambricon actually dethrone NVIDIA and Intel? Not yet. NVIDIA's upcoming Blackwell Ultra chip, set for late 2025, will raise the bar again, and Intel is aggressively expanding its AI capabilities. Cambricon also faces challenges with software development and manufacturing. They're on the US. Entity list, limiting access to top-tier foundries like TSMC, and likely relying on domestic 7NM technology, which isn't as advanced as NVIDIA's 4NM process. But the momentum is shifting, the Chinese government is pushing for self-sufficiency, pressuring companies to replace NVIDIA chips with local alternatives like Cambricon. Huawei's Ascend chips are also in the mix, but Cambricon's AI-specific focus gives them an edge. Looking ahead, Cambricon isn't about to overtake NVIDIA or Intel globally. NVIDIA still controls 90% of the GPU AI server market, and that won't change overnight. But in China, the landscape is shifting fast. By 2025, NVIDIA's market share there could drop to 50-60%, with Cambricon and Huawei taking the rest. 
For consumers, this competition means more efficient and affordable AI technology. For NVIDIA and Intel, it's a wake-up Cal Adapt or lose ground. Cambricon isn't the leader yet, but they're moving at an incredible pace. If they can refine their software and scale production, the balance of power in the chip industry could look very different in just a few years. This isn't the end for NVIDIA and Intel, but it's the start of a serious challenge. The question isn't whether Cambricon can compete, how far they'll go. The semiconductor industry is on the brink of a major transformation, and Cambricon's rapid ascent is a clear sign that the old hierarchy led by NVIDIA and Intel is no longer unshakable. While the US, giants still dominate globally, China's aggressive push for technological self-sufficiency, combined with Cambricon's specialized AI accelerators, is rewriting the rules of the game. One of the most critical factors in Cambricon's rise is China's national strategy to reduce reliance on foreign tech. The U.S. government's restrictions on advanced chip exports to China have inadvertently fueled Cambricon's growth. With NVIDIA's highest performance GPUs like the Hone 100 and upcoming Bone 100 off-limits to Chinese firms, domestic companies have turned to Cambricon as a viable alternative. This shift isn't just about necessity, it's about performance. Cambricon's latest MLU series chips are proving that they can handle large-scale AI workloads, from natural language processing to computer vision, with efficiency that rivals NVIDIA's best. Another advantage Cambricon holds is its close integration with China's AI ecosystem. Unlike NVIDIA, which has a broad global customer base, Cambricon is focused on optimizing its hardware and software for China's specific needs. Their neural network processors are designed to work seamlessly with popular Chinese AI frameworks, giving local developers a smoother experience. This tight-knit ecosystem makes Cambricon's chips more appealing for Chinese tech giants like Alibaba, Tencent, and Baidu, who are investing heavily in AI infrastructure. But Cambricon isn't just competing on home turfets, also eyeing international expansion. While U.S. sanctions limit its ability to sell directly to Western markets, Cambricon is making inroads in regions like Southeast Asia, the Middle East, and Africa, where Chinese tech influence is growing. By offering cost-effective AI solutions, Cambricon is positioning itself as an attractive option for emerging markets looking to build AI capabilities without relying on expensive Western hardware. However, challenges remain. Despite its impressive progress, Cambricon still lags behind NVIDIA in terms of raw computing power and software maturity. NVIDIA's CUDA platform is the gold standard for AI development. With a vast library of tools and optimizations that Cambricon's software stack can't yet match. Additionally, while Cambricon's chips are efficient, they lack the scalability of NVIDIA's data center GPUs, which are designed to handle massive, distributed AI workloads. Intel, meanwhile, is fighting back with its own AI-focused chips, like the Gaudi and Ponte Vecchio series. While Intel has struggled to keep pace with NVIDIA in the GPU space, its expertise in CPU architecture and manufacturing could give it an edge in hybrid AI systems that combine traditional computing with neural processing. Looking ahead, the next few years will be decisive. Cambricon is reportedly working on next-gen chips using more advanced FIVM and even Thrin processes, which could close the performance gap with NVIDIA. If they succeed, we could see a true three-way battle for AI chip supremacy. Meanwhile, geopolitical tensions will continue to shape the industry of U.S. Sanctions tighten further, Cambricon could gain even more ground in China. But if restrictions ease, NVIDIA might reclaim lost market share. For the broader tech world, this competition is a win. More players mean faster innovation, better efficiency, and lower costs. AI applications from cloud computing to edge devices will benefit from the advancements driven by this rivalry. Ultimately, Cambricon's rise signals a new era in the semiconductor industry where no company, no matter how dominant, can afford to rest on its laurels. NVIDIA and Intel will need to keep innovating to stay ahead, while Cambricon must prove it can sustain its momentum beyond China's borders. The battle for AI chip supremacy is far from over, but one thing is certain, the landscape will never be the same.